Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. In this design tip of the week, I want to show you how easy it is to make your own Photoshop brushes. Here I've scanned a page of pattern doodles that were just drawn with pen and ink on paper and scanned into the computer. And in Photoshop, all you need to do is if you want to make a brush out of a certain area, just make a selection and then go edit, define brush preset. And then you can give this a name if you want. I'll call that one Pattern Brush 1. Let's do another one. Edit, Define Brush Preset, Pattern Brush 2. Click OK. With these kind of pattern brushes, I'll show you a few settings that I like to put in that make it really nice to work with these. So let's go to a blank document. And I go to my Brush Presets window. That's just in Window, Brush Presets. And the bottom two brushes are the ones that I just created. Let me show you how these look just by default. Here's the first one. So you can scale these up or down by using the left or right bracket keys on your keyboard. And just by default, when you paint with these, it's not very interesting. You can click and paint and create a pattern that's starting to look pretty good. But the problem is your brush always stays the same. So you're gonna to start to notice a repeat to the pattern. So you don't want that either. So what we wanna do in our brushes window is click on shape dynamics and scattering. Now let's highlight shape dynamics first. What we want is an angle jitter. What that does is each time Photoshop draws that brush, it'll actually rotate the brush. So you'll notice there's actually a lot more randomness. And then with scattering, if you look here in the brushes window, when I increase scattering, what it does is it will randomize how far apart those brushes are painted down if that makes any sense. Let me just give you an example. Let's turn the scatter way up. I'm just gonna click, drag, and paint across the screen and you'll see how it paints with the scatter turned way up. See how it's just really random and it's painting at the top and painting at the bottom. I don't really want that, so let's undo that. Let's turn the scatter back down so it, it's a little more close together. And now when you paint, it's not gonna be so wild. And the last thing when working with brushes, if you wanna save them, you can go into your presets, preset manager window, and I'll just select those two brushes that I made, just highlight both of them, and then save set. And then I can just call these pattern brushes. That's really there all is to it. I have a number of free download brushes available in Graphic Design Launch Kit. So if you want those, sign up for my newsletter and you'll get a link to download. Thanks a lot.